Ahem. Hello everyone. Puzzle and Light here with my very first video on this channel. Basically, to sum it up, this video will teach you 1. How to root your phone. And number 2. How to download, install, and use Titanium Pro Backup. I mean, Titanium Backup Pro, yes, but same thing. To get multiple PAD accounts, which is this lovely game on the bottom with the Golden Dragon right here. Lovely game, lovely game. I've played for quite a bit, and since I finally rooted in my phone, I thought, why not share a video in its simplistic form just to help others get it? So, the first apps that you need are four shared. <coughs> For shared LG Pwn and Super SU. For for shared, you can download it from the Google Play Store and install it. Then from for shared, make an account because apparently you need an account. Then search up LG Pwn with this lettering. Dot apk LG Pwn dot apk. Nothing else. In the search results, click on the first one. And it should be by someone named K287-2003. Then download, then download it from there. You should get a package installer, which it, which should be in your downloads folder. And then open, then run it and install LG Pwn, which would be this app right here. Open LG Pwn and you'll be taken to this screen. Basically, if you press root me, you'll be sent to three options. You will be sent to... Um, well, basically, it's right here. So you basically you run them back. So you press Ruby to run the backup app. Then select your store, internal storage. Then restore the LG Pwn backup. After this is done, the phone will reboot. And as it says, you will go to Super SU right here after you download it from the Google Play Market. Now, once you've done done that, it will lead, it will lead you to this. Basically. Once you start an app that requires root access, it will ask you permission to give that app root access. So for, for example, I've downloaded Root Checker right here. Now let's say for Root Checker, I didn't give it root access, which I would go to here, and then I'd change to deny. Then I'd save it, and if I were to go to Root Checker right now, and verify for root access, it does not have the proper root access. And it says right here. Root access has been denied. However, if I were to open Super SU and give it root access as so, then run it again. This device now has root access and it has been granted super user permissions by Super SU. This is the same thing you want to use for any root related apps. But for this case, we are going to be using it for Titanium Backup Pro. I will give you a download link for it in, in the description. It's very easy to do. So once you open this for the first time, click Backup and Restore and search up your Puzzle and Dragon app. Press and hold that app, and then where it says Disable Multiple Profiles on Mine, it should say Enable Multiple Profiles. And after you're done, it should say This app now has multiple profiles or something along that line and then you can make a backups etc etc the first backup you make will be for your will be for your current one so just make a backups just in case like for example I'll back up my app right now well after I will do it so so after this tutorial I'll just back up my app for the sake of it and so on the bottom screen where it says active data profile you tap it for the first time and you select create new data profile and now, Light at PF is my current data profile. Now, if I were to, like, say, want to create a new data profile, I just tap and create new data profile, name it, and now the new data profile will be associated with the Puzzle and Dragons app that has the multi storage. Note, if you change it, this, this will apply for Puzzle and Dragons only. You can select multiple apps, preferably games, to create backups of just in case. So, if I were, so now since I have Puzzle and Light, oh, I have Puzzle and Light PF selected, I want Light and PF selected. 
And here is one last cool thing about it. If you're to go into widgets, take a look up look up Titanium Backup Data. This will enable you to switch profiles on the go without having to reopen Titanium from again and again. Very simple. So open up Puzzle and Dragons for the first time. And then after the loading screen, it'll I'll show you my inner data, etc. etc. And then you will see it compared to my other data. So here is my current data overall so far. Now here I rank 122, 77, 5 magic stones, and one hell of a monster box. That is true. And I love that monster box to death. But since I wanted to create a new profile, let's go to light 3 for the heck of it. And now it's this data profile change to light 3 and apply to one app, which is Puzzle and Dragons. You click on that, uh, press it, uh, I'm so used to computer, uh, I'm so used to computer slang, uh, lingo, and uh, as you load it, some changes should occur. You see my ID is different this time. And then as you open it, well, the obvious change will happen. I am ranked 17, 25 stamina, and 12 magic stones. This, this, uh, this, this file is better magic stone-wise. Everything else just sucks. And I plan to create my very first video for... No, no, not my very first video. I plan to create my very first video on Puzzle and Light at PF at some other time. Just not right now. And finally, if you were to say want to record any any gameplay for any reason on your Android phone, let it be for an app review, or you just want to do like a let's play of sorts, or just a full walkthrough of an app, you can download the Screencast app right here. I will give I will also give the download link for this and Titanium Backup Pro. The other two you can get by yourself, but if you want to be safe, go to Four Shared. And I'll tell you what to, and here is what to type for both of them. So for Titanium Backup Pro, it would be Titanium Backup Pro, and then full APK. Oh dear, I believe, I believe it does not support it. So if you were to try for shared, it won't work. So once again, I'll just give you the download links for both Screencast and Titanium Backup Pro. With Screencast, if you have your phone successfully rooted, you can have all these options to tinker around with. Very good app, very well done indeed. And I do suggest that you have a very good voice, a quiet environment to record your videos in, or else it'll be just complete crud if you try to record it with a microphone, that is. If you don't plan on using a microphone, then do whatever the heck you want. So once again, thank you guys. So, not once again. I'm going to say this for the first time. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments and or concerns about this tutorial, please leave a message. Don't feel shy to don't feel shy to ask. If you want to ask me a private question of sorts, please send me a PM through YouTube or via Twitter. My Twitter account is at light. So just search it up, you'll find a Piplup, and that's my account. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on my very first video on Puzzle and Dragons.